So last night I'm up at Chocolate Thunder and I look back and I hear this turbo whistle <laughs> and uh, spinning tires and here's a four-door Duramax. Look down, it's got our solid axle kit and he's crawling up Chocolate Thunder, got the baby in the back, the whole deal. So I went and met Nick, right? Yep. yep. And uh, he, ch he told us where his camp was and we came by and it's maybe just starting to rain, but really wanted to show everybody uh, his solid axle kit. So. Nick, what your solid axle kit. Well, our <laughs> kit on his truck. So what year's your truck? It's a uh, 04. Um, bought it bone stock back in 2016. Oh, you're a, oh, you're but you're not original owner. You bought no, it. No, yeah, 16. I bought yeah. it secondhand. Okay, yeah. Um, and just started doing stuff here and there, put a lift kit on it and started blowing ball joints. I so, did. So you did IFS lift kit. Yeah. So then you're doing not, ball. No, well, nothing crazy, not, not the drop bracket. Yeah, just, just portion, leveling Portion kit. keys and all that. And then you're doing idler arm, pitman arm, yeah. ball joints. Yeah, yeah, I did ball joints twice in a year and I was over it and I was like, fuck this. And here, we're in your camp and right here at the bottom of Turkey Claw and you use this truck. I mean, look at all the mud, yeah. dirt, big it, trailers you're towing with tows it. Tows the fifth wheel so out. So you tow a fifth tow, wheel. Tow the gooseneck with it. And this is the thing, the IFS kits, when you're like at Glamis or in the sand, you got to put it in four wheel drive and bang it up something. Yep. You're 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 risking the CVs, the balls. Exactly. Drives. Yep. Like I've seen it just in four wheel drive, just buckle the tie rod yep. ends just from the torque of the tires. My white Duramax. Um, I was actually going up the backside of Turkey Claw, not actually Turkey Claw, but yeah. I was. My buddy has a video of me, and my fucking tires are just dipping boom. in. Boom. So and that was a stock truck, stock IFS, Duramax exit stage left right yeah, so exactly. um you found out that we had a kit for this truck yep the most uh complete kit that i was able to find okay i mean aside from the welding i did it i mean well i did the welding myself too but did it over the weekend rolled the truck in on friday rolled it out on sunday that's awesome just yeah. a lot of lot of grinding obviously but and so this is our three inch kit, right? Six. Oh, this is a six inch yeah, kit. Yeah, I just got okay. it. I got it as low as possible. Sitting low. But I wanted right. the option to, uh, to bring it up higher later. Exactly. Yeah. And so when I do 40s, I'm going to put a little bit longer shock on it. And my, my goal is to do 40s after I burn these. And are, are you, those are 37s then, Correct. right? Yeah. B and B 37s on H2 rims. Correct. Which is 17 inch and eight on six and a half. Correct. Um, and then you did an adapter to go from made on 170 yeah, to Yeah, it's on an 60. inch and a half wheel adapter. Okay. Because uh, I, I wanted something that, like, for, for instance, I drove it to Washington three years ago, um, lost a wheel bearing. Yeah. And if I, I know you guys sell the, the adapter Yeah, bearing. but the idea is if you have eight on 170 wheel bearing, you can get it at any auto parts store any, anywhere. Well, that I wasn't able to find. No. Oh, the one seventy. Oh, yeah, the correct. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Factory wheel bearings. Yeah. So, because so if the you wheel get adapter, our, I mean, you get our redrilled one, and you're stuck. You got to call me and get another one or exactly. find somebody else. So yeah. I did the wheel adapter. Just uh, it was yeah. a cheap. I think it was a hundred and fifty dollar Amazon wheel adapter, yeah. and yeah. done. So, so, six inch kit. And uh, what'd you do for the transfer case on this truck? For three years, I actually had the factory uh, 263 push yep. button. Yep. Uh, last year, maybe two years ago, I finally did the 273. Oh my God. So I got the Look, Ford T case in it now. It looks like it's at home in there. So yeah. you have a, a one you piece rear drive shaft. You had to do a new drive shaft because of fixed yoke in the rear. Yep. 273 fits in there perfect. And this is a great example. The 273 is about an inch higher up than our cross member yep. and fits in there and gives you the optimum front drive yes. line angle. So I kissed a rock four days ago, three days ago. Yeah. Uh, wheelbase, you know, just kind of turtled uh -huh. on it and yeah. it skipped right off the plate. It didn't even touch the t -case. So one of the things that I think we want to work on is to do a bolt-in skid plate that, that goes onto the cross member that would just be to protect for guys exactly, like yeah. you. But you know, doing that uh, 273 swap, you're still push button four wheel drive. Yep. All the shift motors hooked up. Exactly. And no you check have engine lights. Fixed yokes front and rear, 1350 in the front, probably 1410 in the rear. Uh, 1410 front and rear. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, actually, no, sorry. On the yoke at the T case, so, it's 1410. And then 1350 down yeah, here. Yeah, I just wasn't yep. able to get the uh, the 13 or the 1410 yoke on the axle soon enough. Yeah. And then. Let's see, I, it sits nice and low on the six inch, not yeah. obnoxious, obnoxious yeah. at all. And towing the fifth wheel, you don't want to be too tall. Exactly. Factory tie rod or, and uh, our drag link. I, I noticed you don't have a steering stabilizer. Correct. Does it, does it get any steering wheel shake or wobble? Nope, nope. it's, uh, I, I'm usually not a big fan of steering stabilizers, just more stuff to beat up and yep. break on rocks, but 
It tows 80, 85. No problem on the freeway. And, and no sway bar. The radius arms have enough bind to stop the body yep. roll on it. Yep. So let's. The only type of body roll I get is when I'm towing that. Yep. And there's a heavy crosswind. Yeah. But other than that, it's the truck is the truck's super stable. So it's nice for people to know that I mean you could obviously add the factory sway bar Correct. in if you yeah. wanted to, but with the radius arm set up on a six inch towing a what is that, thirty five foot goose? Thirty three, yeah. Twelve Thir twelve thousand seven hundred. And you don't just tow that twenty miles, you tow it long distances. We hundred and sixty miles this time, this trip. Yep. What did you do in the rear here? Um so so I know I she got Devers. Correct. Got Devers, just got the some cheapy uh, Amazon tow bag set up. So you go, oh, and the airbags pull away from the buckets. Correct. Yep. And then the Devers, are they four inch Devers? They're six. So they're six inch Devers, yep. and are they four or three quarter ton? Yes, they are. I, I wish I would have done the uh, the half ton. Uh huh. It would have been a little bit smoother ride, but especially with the airbags. Exactly, so. but it does it does all right. So it flexes under, now. It never used to flex before. So the key with those airbags is right now they're three four inches away from the pocket, right? Correct. As soon as you hook that gooseneck on, it, it drops up. a little bit, and then the bag will extend another four inches, and it sits pretty flush. Dude, that's a really nice setup in the rear. I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. And you don't think the Devers are too soft when you got the gooseneck hooked up? No, because the so the truck can actually handle the weight. Mm -hmm. um, I had it hooked up. I just wanted it to sit a little bit more level because I was, um, I had a little bit of a bro lean, uh -huh. but I just wanted a little bit level, a little bit more level of a toe. And so then I with the, the bags, you can level it right out. Exactly. I mean, keep the headlights from shining people's eyes exactly. and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many miles do you have on it since you put the kit on it? Uh, I mean, a couple I years. Would, it's it's been on it since 2019. Okay. I would say I got anywhere from 50 to 60 thousand. Awesome. And have it's, you have you replaced anything? Because everything wears out, like tie rod ends. Or the only like thing that? That I've replaced is the front axle because it's my fault. I burned it up. But as far as the links, everything's original from when I put it on the truck in 2019. Okay. That's good. All so the that, steering components, everything. That's good wear and tear then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you said even another one of your buddies did it too after you did this one? Or? Um, no, I, well, there's another guy that uh, I helped. I didn't really know him. Okay. But yeah, yeah um, it was my brother-in-law's, or um, yeah, my brother-in-law's boss. Awesome. But well, yeah, I didn't actually know him. It's fun for me to come, you know, 10 hours down from over California, sitting over there at Chocolate Thunder, look over my shoulder and see, you know, yeah. our control arm and a solid axle just creeping by. I honestly by. thought you were bullshit, man. I was like, there's no way. And then you got the family in there, <laughs> Yeah, right? exactly. She was with, in the back seat with, with the baby. And, and, you know, we don't want to tell anybody that you may have been hung up on a rock, right? Yeah, I was definitely <laughs> hung up on a rock. Well, you got out of that pretty easy. Not many people are going to unhook from their fifth wheel and then go bomb up the hill and wheel it. Exactly. So. Yeah. yeah, the truck I mean, gets used. I've taken it on a bunch of trails. Um, that that actually doesn't come out that often. Normally, it's a tent, and yeah. we got a, a, a base camp, and we just go off in the hills, and not here, obviously, but just all over California, Washington. I'm well, originally from Washington, so I got a bunch of family up there. These guys actually came down from Washington. So, so this thing drives up to Washington quite a bit. It, this yeah. drive, driven this truck uh, to Washington four times. Every time has been with your kit. I actually installed the kit. Uh, in October of 2019, drove it to Washington in December. That's awesome. Yeah. And just, it's been super reliable. I don't, I don't not trust it to go anywhere. Well, thank you for telling us about your truck and letting us no uh, check it out. I always love to see our product. So have a good uh, day and hopefully this rain doesn't come down too hard, huh? Well, if it does, no problem. I got the solid axle. All right, thank you. <laughs>